Whale alert. $1.3 billion crypto transfer sends market to the moon. Hey, 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 folks. Andrew from Bitspools here. I know you've been wondering what's been going on in the cryptocurrency world. So let's dive right in before the FED raises our interest rates to 4.5% and sends us spiraling down to the stone age. Hold on, let me just remind you to check out our partners at Bybit.com. They've got a crazy offer right now where you can get up to $100,000 on a demo account and pretend you're the next Warren Buffett of crypto. I mean, it's perfect for those of us who need a little practice before we start throwing our life savings into the crypto abyss. You can find the link to their demo account shenanigans in the description below, so don't miss out on that. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. We've had some sneaky whales transferring a mind-boggling $1.3 billion worth of USDC stablecoins to the crypto exchange Coinbase. No, that's like a bajillion dollars, folks. And guess what? Market observers are saying it could be a giant buy signal for Bitcoin and Ethereum. They're like, cha-ching, get ready for takeoff. One crypto trader, Blockchain Main, is super excited, saying it's like the money printer Go Burr meme come to life. And you know what? He might be right. Traders love seeing stable coins flowing into exchanges because it usually means someone's getting ready to buy a whole lot of crypto. On the flip side, if you see a bunch of crypto flowing out, it could be a sign of some whales getting ready to cash out and leave us all holding the bag. Now, I know what you're thinking. Whales, whales, whales. Why do we care so much about what these big shots are doing? Well, my friend, because when a whale farts, the whole crypto market trembles. But here's the catch. Whale movements aren't always a surefire indicator. They could be buying, they could be selling, or they could just be moving their crypto around for fun. It's like trying to predict the weather in England. Impossible. Crypto commentator Lark Davis, also known as the Crypto Lark, agrees. He says, we never really know what they're doing. And don't even get me started on crypto analysts. They're like, $1.3 billion is a lot of money, but it depends on where it's going. Oh, thanks for the helpful analysis, guys. But here's the scoop. If this money is indeed being used to buy Bitcoin or Ethereum, it could give those cryptos a nice little boost. But Davis warns that it's not a guarantee. These whales could be placing limit orders, creating a safety net for the crypto they're buying. It's like they're saying, hey, if the price drops, we'll still get our crypto at a lower price. Clever, right? One crypto trader, Brian Jung, thinks that if this money goes into a single crypto token with a small market cap, it could send the price skyrocketing. But let's be real, who in their right mind would do that? That's like putting all your eggs in one basket and then throwing the basket off a cliff. So, what's the verdict? Will these whale transfers make Bitcoin and Ethereum moon? Who knows? The crypto market is as unpredictable as a politician's promise. But hey, it's always fun to speculate, right? One thing's for sure though, the market sentiment has taken a little dip lately. People are getting less greedy and more fearful. But don't worry, it's just a little speed bump on the road to crypto riches. That's it for today, folks. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. And as always, stay tuned for more crypto madness. Peace out.